on inspecting. The model of the building that you see behind me is 111 West 57th Street. It's one of multiple tall, slender, ultra-luxury towers, residential towers um, in New York that form what has come to be known as Billionaire's Row. This is the most slender of any of those designs, and it looks miraculous, really, um, in the um, thinness of its proportions, which almost defy logic. Slenderness ratio is the width versus the height. So anytime it's one to 10 or more, that's considered a slender building. One to 15 or more is considered exotic and really difficult to do. The t most slender buildings of the world in the world are mostly in Hong Kong and they're around 17 or 18 to one. This building is 23 and a half to one. So it was a, a remarkable jump in uh, the technologies that were needed in order to build it. What we're looking at here is the profile of 111 West 57th Street um, and also its footprint because here you're seeing how the building comes down into the ground and you can see how tiny that little rectangle is, how the ratio of its base to its height gets multiplied 23 times over. And you can also see in the contrast with the floor plans of these two buildings, which are office buildings, how minute this space is and how very large the, 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 fl the floor plan is for an office building. And why is that? It's because the center of these towers need to be occupied by the vacant space of the shafts of the elevators, 70 elevators, um, you know, a hundred elevators in banks. This one has two elevators instead. The elevators are incredibly interesting at 111 West 57th Street. So there are basically two shafts, um, and, but the car is a double stacked car with a passenger car on top and a service car below. So they move up and down in the shaft. So even though it's two shafts, you get four elevators. All tall buildings will sway in the wind, different amounts depending on their height and their stiffness, but wind is the force that buildings react to. Every skyscraper has to move. It, if it's too stiff, it's actually more dangerous. It has to have flexibility in it. Oh. 
So the facade of this building is made of this very beautiful and intricate textured terracotta and bronze. And it actually creates turbulence of the wind that slows down the acceleration of the building. The second way we slow it down is by putting this uh, large uh, damper, tuned mass damper at the top, that's 800 tons. Uh, it's made of solid steel that are plates that are put together, and it's tuned so that when the building wants to move in one direction, the counterbalance moves in the other to slow it down. We wanted a building that was both and. It was both historic, but it was modern, but it looked to the future. So what I'm hoping is that 50 years from now, you've only known New York with, with 111 West 57th Street, and I hope it's a uh, holds a special place in all future New Yorkers' hearts.